legend goes that the full moon brings with it werewolves. Uh, I'm sorry, I mean horrible events that are werewolves. Alternatively, the full moon brings the master of darkness. Your mirror is flashing blood red. You should see a doctor. Have you not heard the legend of he who rises with the full moon? A werewolf. The legend of the vampire. No, it's a werewolf. Well, the story actually happened in England a hundred years ago. Did it now? Ah. There was an investigator with the paranormal, a young psychologist named Ferdinand Social. Social? On the night of the full moon, he received a mysterious message while using his Ouija board. It's a werewolf. Killer. Vampire. Go to Thames. Caution. Caution. You already told me that one. In the wake of Drac- DRACULA! Okay, fine. <laughs> That's Dracula. I'm not intimidated by you, Dracula. Not with that spot. You need to get those lips seen to. Welcome to Master of Darkness, made in 1992 by Sega. Why am I playing this game? Well, you'll find out in a moment. At the night, at that time in London, the rising of the full moon meant the coming of yet another gruesome murder. I wonder who by the hands of. Dracula! The following morning would always bring the discovery of yet another body, completely drained of blood. Dracula! Yes, yes, it is Dracula. Dear Lord! Who do you think it is? The Blood Doctors? Dr. Social knew that there was something supernatural about the heart of the mystery and began investigating. Dude, your family name is awful. You're called Dr. Social. <laughs> Calling on the powers of the Ouija board because it's the, it's the plot device here. Social learned that at the Thames River, horrible events beyond the human imagination were taking place. I'm pretty sure they can be imagined as they're in this game. Why am I playing this game? The reason why is for children in need. Well, I'm playing some of it for children in need. The, uh, one of the buttons on the master's controller jumps. The other one stabs with my knife. Shook with my knife! Uh, uh. If you think this plays much like Castlevania, it does. It's the Sega's equivalent. Al got hit by a bat. Now, children in need, if you are not British, you probably won't know what this is. Oh, kill you! And now I have a hammer. Yes, I'm going to kill things with a hammer indiscriminately at the Thames. What of it? Anyway, um, what it is is um, a charity event that happens every year. Well, every alternate year. I think the, every other year it's uh, Red Nose Day, Comic Relief, and it's to uh, help. Oh, miss the gun, bugger. It's to help children who um, live in poor situations, either family abuse, destitution. Basically, it's for people who need our help. And children in need, all sorts of people do all kinds of, ow, different things. And I decided I would try and do what I was best at, record a, a video or two, and, um... Oh, must be something awesome up there. Got a video or two and put a link to children in need in the uh, description. Also, these guys will shoot you. Obviously, they must be in thrall with Dracula. I guess. What is this? Oh, health. Okay, that was worth it. I've already done my bit to donate some money to children in need. You are under no obligation from this video to, uh, to, record, to do anything. You do not have to put a single penny into children in need if you do not want to. But the link will be there just in case you need to. And I'm sure if you need to, if you want to, sorry. And if you do, I'm sure somewhere there'll be a child who will thank you. 
But enough about that. How about you? And by how about you, I mean smack you in the face with my hammer. I'm terribly sorry, but, uh... Simon Belmont may have a whip, but Dr. Social has a hammer. Oh, I missed that. I want to get that. You can't beat Dr. Social's ha mad hammer skills. There we go. We have a gun as our alternate weapon. Which you press up and attack and fire that way. If I walk over any weapon, like say, that's not a weapon, like another dagger and I pick it up, I will be using that instead. We don't want to go down to that. Not yet. But we have to. Hey doggy. So we are trying to stop Dracula. Wow, that's original. Ow! You touched my toe, and thus I felt pain. I'll get on the world's smallest boat. And jump. Twas indeed the world's smallest boat. Now, the docks of the Thames. We don't want bombs. Not at all, actually. I didn't actually mean to shoot that. Those porcelain masks hold all the power ups. And that is the first part of this level. Get a time bonus, a life bonus, and a total. Very Castlevania. The Sega would later get the Castlevania games actually on their consoles, but not on the Master System. This is the closest thing you have to a Castlevania game. And I own this game, I and mean, it's um, quite good. Thank you. Oh no! The undead! Wait, surely... A murder on the loose is not even slightly... Ooh, the rapier. I like the rapier. It's not even slightly as bad as the, uh, the undead walking the earth. Okay, stop it. You... are annoyed. Hey! Don't go back on me! something up here. Uh, is it something important? It's a rapier. I already have one of those. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Was he trying to do the thriller dance at me? No matter. I stole his vitality. And with it, his life! Considering he was dead, I suppose that's a slightly moot point, because he was already dead. I cannot jump up here. <laughs> yes, jumping off a, um... Ow! Ow! Stop dancing with me! Ow! You goit! Stop it! Hmm, I saw what that thing was trying to do. It was either this or Jekyll and Hyde. I really did not feel like recording Jekyll and Hyde. So, all for a good cause. I'm wearing a very blue suit. Look at that! It's like the bluest suit in the world. By the way, I'm going to stab you in the face. I hope this is helpful. It's bombs. I wasn't worth it at all. Give me a moment. We'll be back shortly. 